right. Let's see what those meatheads are up to. Huh. You can see a car way behind the factory. That's their car. So, my sources were true. You can only enter the factory from the main entrance. The back side and other exit is closed by rubble. I guess that's why they closed it. I remember a huge explosion happening here. It was years ago. Hasn't been used since. Until these dopes showed up. I can't see any of them, though. The main entrance is open, but it's hard to see anything. Some of the windows are boarded up, and it's pretty dark inside. You smoke baby face? No? I figured as much. You're a little goody two shoes, aren't you? <laughs> you think you can do this? When the shootout starts, I can't always watch your back, you know. You gotta protect yourself. Can you do that? I'm asking because owning a gun and actually using it is completely different. You were shaking your piece at the bar. I hope you have good aim for your sake. Alright, here's the game plan. Since we can't make a strategic approach, we have to go in guns blazing. Fill those guys with lead. We're gonna have to wait for tonight. Attacking right now is not a good idea. There are a lot of passers-by and civilians. They can call the police after hearing gunshots, and if the pigs arrive before we find the drugs and money, then we'd be screwed. After we got the money and the drugs, we need a place to stay. We can't go to your place because I'm sure Mickey's already got suspicious and sent some of his men to your place. We can't go to a hotel. That's too risky. There's only one place we can go. My old safe house. It's by the docks. No one knows about it other than me. We spend the night there, and next morning we leave this godforsaken town. I mean, just look at these buildings. The streets. Everything is so dirty and rusty. Jeez. I feel like I'll get hepatitis if I touch anything in this friggin' town. Is the plan clear, babyface? All right. The attack at night. For now, we have to wait. You can sleep here if you want. I don't want you yawning during the shootout. Hey, no need to get angry. i never seen you use a gun before. It's normal for me to be worried. You've never seen me use one either. Yeah, I'm a tough gal. I can handle myself. Here, look. Look at these wounds. You think I got these by staying at home and watching TV all night? Trust me. I can fill every hole in your body with bullets. And also, don't doubt me, babyface, because my previous plan failed. I was not an active member in the plan, remember? If I went there with Jackie, we wouldn't be in the... What the... One of those jerks is standing in front of the entrance. Get down. Let's make sure that he can't see us. What's that fool doing outside? <laughs> He's yawning. Yeah. Open that useless mouth, you punk. I'm gonna fill that mouth of yours with as much lead as possible. What? Never seen an angry gal before? I'm telling you right now, if you hesitate in there for even a second, I'm gonna kill everyone and then you. Do you understand, babyface? 
I'm in this messed up situation because of these dirtbags. I'm gonna have my revenge. See that shotgun in the bag? I'm gonna shove that shotgun so far up to coolie the other end of the weapon will come out the mouth. He's relieving himself. Why is he doing it outside, though? Don't the factory have a toilet? Maybe it got destroyed in the explosion, but still. Going outside to pee is just pretty stupid. Shows these punks are stupider than I thought. He went inside. Well, there's nothing we can do right now. Like I said, attacking right now is too risky. We'll rest here and wait. Come on, get in. Drop the bag and get on the bed. I'm gonna take a look at your womb, baby face. There you go, take off your shirt. Okay, let's see. Well, you are one lucky son of a gun. The bullet isn't inside your body. It entered from the side, got out from your back. It also seems the bullet didn't damage any vital organs either, so... Don't worry, you'll live. Just wait. I'll clean the wound for you. I always keep medical supplies here in case of emergencies. Well, your situation is not an emergency, but you helped me. You're a nice guy. That's why I'm going to help you. Just stay still. I'll take care of your baby face. Was it your first shootout? We're not bad for an amateur. <laughs> uh, I was expecting you to run around like a headless chicken. <laughs> Sorry. Guess I was wrong about you. You're tougher than I thought. You entered your first shootout, scored your first kill, and got shot for the first time. It's been a very special day for you. I'm sure you'll remember it in the future. Well, thank you, babyface. I really mean that. You trusted me without knowing anything about me. You followed my plan and got shot because of me. Thank you. Even a guy like me needs help from time to time. And you appeared at the exact right moment. Thank you. All right. It's all clean now. Let's use some bandages and cover the wound. Okay. It's all finished. You rest now. Don't make any sudden movements. We'll spend the rest of the night here. The morning, we'll go our separate ways. <sighs> of course you can't come with me. I work better alone. I'm bad luck, okay? Just look at yourself. You met me for the first time, and hours later you got shot. I don't want you to end up on a forgotten alleyway because of me. See this money? It's all yours. Do what you want with it. Me? Nah. I don't want the money. I just need the drugs. I already have a potential buyer who can pay lots of money for it. <laughs> me quitting this job? Come on, baby face. You know I can't do that. Look, kid, this is the only thing I know how to do. Since my tender ages, I grew up on the streets. I lied, killed, stole, and harmed lots of people. 
Can't just stop doing it. What am I supposed to do? Become a waitress or a cashier? No chance. I'm happy with who I am right now. And I have no intention to change that. If you don't have any questions, I want to sleep right now. I'm tired. Okay then, baby face. Good night.